next year here in Los Angeles. More than a month into the vaccine rollout here in Southern California, some local leaders and doctors are concerned that not enough black and Latino residents are getting vaccinated. And it's not because they don't want to. CBS2 investigator Christine Lazar looks at the problem and what's being done tonight to fix it. Everything online would, would say full, 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 full. Curtis Shaw of South LA tried for weeks to get a COVID vaccine appointment. The West side is always going to get vaccinated before the South side. It's just the way it is. Councilman Marquise Harris Dawson says Shaw is right. My first time visiting Crenshaw Christian Center right here in the house of South Central, I didn't see a single African American person getting a shot in a neighborhood that's, you know, two thirds African American. Local leaders say people are driving to South LA sites like the Forum or Kendron Community Center from places like Glendale and West LA, taking up the appointments meant for the people who live and work here. When you hear about the stories of, of West Side folks going into South Los Angeles that's hard as hit and jumping the line and may not even be part of the qualified group that's getting the vaccine, that's troubling. Congresswoman Nanette Diaz Barragon and 11 of her colleagues sent this letter to President Biden this week, saying they are deeply concerned about the distribution of the COVID-19 vaccine to underserved communities and communities of color. When my constituents had to get on three buses just to get to a site to get the vaccine. The letter asked the Biden administration to come up with a plan for a more equitable distribution. California hasn't released data broken down by race, but other states have. In some cases, white people are two to three times more likely to get the vaccine than African Americans and Latinos. This is not a new problem. We've seen health inequities and unequal access to care in pretty much every aspect of health care in the United States. Dr. Fola May is a health equity researcher with UCLA. She says not getting enough vaccines into the arms of black and brown residents isn't just inequitable, it's dangerous. We're going to have more circulation of the virus in those communities. We're going to continue to have hospitalizations, cases, and deaths. And unfortunately, as we're seeing, there's a possibility that we'll have more variants of this, vac of this, of this virus that come into our community. There's also the issue of a historic mistrust of the healthcare system by African Americans. Dr. Oliver Brooks says he does have patients desperate to get in line. And I am also hearing, I'm not getting that vaccine until others get it. I'm going to wait. I don't trust the vaccine. Uh, they may be putting something in it to cause a genocide of, of African Americans. That's why Councilman Harris Dawson wants local sites manned by local people part of our vaccine distribution. Starting this week, he has opened micro sites in South LA. They will only get a few hundred doses a day, but you don't need an appointment. The location isn't advertised. His staff has been calling people who live nearby to spread the word. Harris Dawson is also pushing the county to send more of the vaccine to neighborhood clinics and pharmacies. What we don't want the county to do is say, OK, Dodger Stadium, you can do 10,000. We're going to give you 90 percent of everything we have and we're going to spread the rest around. Shaw got his shot at one of these micro sites. A neighbor called him to tell him to come down. His wife got one, too. So did Linda Cunningham. If I can spread the word and tell more people of my color to come out and get it, you should. You must. You have to. The health department says on Monday or Tuesday, they're going to release some hard numbers on who the vaccines are going to, and we'll be able to compare the rate of vaccination amongst white people to our communities of color. Christine Lazar, CBS 2 News. Well, these micro sites are not advertised and you won't find them on the county's website. That's to ensure 